I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa talks about the challenges she faced in her previous marriages. It's best for them to just grow old and be friends. Because, you know, sometimes when you done been through too much, you just like them like as a friend. Like Callie and her baby daddy went to the fair last night with all the kids. And, and they they just best friends now. So, I mean, that's, at some point, you got to co-parent and be good friends with the person. Yep, y'all be best friends for life. That's it. I don't really got no exes that I didn't speak to. Up to me and Jonathan, daddy been cool our whole life. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That was a disaster. But me and Jonathan, daddy been cool our whole life. Me and Johnny's daddy been cool our whole life. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hell, my ex-husband was, was doing me and my husband taxes my first year of marriage. Because we were still cool. And he used to do with my whole family taxes. So, I don't got no kind of ex-enemies. She said, DJ1 said, clout, girl. Yeah, we on here for the clout. We all on here for the clout, baby. Ain't nothing new. You got jealous because Blue welcomed his dad in his home. Hell no. I'm the one who told him to take him there. I took Jonathan Daddy to his home. Y'all better start, y'all better start asking Jaden some questions. I am the reason Jonathan Daddy got back in that house because honey whack had him out. Okay, whack had Jonathan Daddy gone. Gone. I'm the one who told Jonathan I don't give a who say what, who stole what, who did what? That's your daddy. Give a f about none of that money and none of that shit. If he stole it, too bad. Maybe he needed it. I don't know. Still your daddy. Okay? So I would never be jealous of one of my kids' fathers coming to their house and taking care of that bullshit because, baby, mama wasn't. I was done. I wasn't cleaning up nobody else's shit, no baby shit, no dog shit. So I called the the best person I knew to clean up that shit while my son was gone. His daddy. You talking about I'm jealous. What well, do I look? A woman that's got a husband that love her and all her bullshit and all her kids don't never have a reason in life to be jealous. That's what you hoes do. That's what you think. Y'all don't know me like that. Y'all just keep thinking y'all know me. You don't know me. I am the reason that Jonathan let his father come back into his life after damn near Javon and stealing some money. Me. Ask Jaden. She know. Ask Whack. <laughs> Jonathan wasn't talking to his daddy no more. Jonathan's daddy was gone. I got text messages. To pull up. I'm finna pull up. Pull up. Because Jonathan finna go to court and he gonna need you and me. And I'm not living there with them people there. And I ain't got that to do, and I'm not cleaning up no more dog shit, okay? I'm out here making movies, so you need to go on over there and do what you do. You the homeless shelter father of the year. <laughs> <laughs> go on over there and do what you do, okay? His father is a good cleaner. He's a good babysitter, honey. That's the only reason I married him. That's the only reason I with Jonathan daddy because he was a good provider to the kids that's about it okay because <laughs> you talking about it I needed a full-time babysitter I'm jealous a uh, Jonathan daddy <laughs> y'all be thinking on here I Carlissa Sappho Took Jonathan Porter's daddy. Matter of fact, 
I let Jonathan Daddy live with us when he was homeless at a time during his life. Sure did. I was in there with my man and my son came home and said, mom, my dad in a car sleep in front of the house and it's cold outside. This is my right hand to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Don't care what they tell you. My son and my sugar daddy will tell you, <laughs> okay? Dad knocked on the door, came in with a toothbrush and a blanket and went in there and got in my son bed while I was in the bed with my new man because he was fucking homeless. So don't ever get on here thinking I'm jealous. I done helped all them motherfuckers to the best of my ability. When I tell you I done helped them, they mammy, they bald-headed granny. I done helped them all, them motherfuckers, all of them. I done gave them all my last piece of chicken, my last edge of the bed, my last heat, water, lights, and gas, motherfucker. I'm the only stable motherfucker any of these motherfuckers know me. Any of the baby mamas, any of the cousins, the aunties, the uncles, the sisters, the aunties, me. Okay? Only me. I'm jealous. Girl, bow. I ain't never knocked on that motherfucker door talking about, can you help me and my son? He knocked on our door and said, can I come in? I said, make sure you go on back in there in that bed, that pissy bed of your son's, because you know he in the bed, and get on in that bed with your son. That's what you can do. Girl, yeah, you know they was over eating my last piece of chicken. Sleeping in my house. All of them. All of them. I done been good to all these motherfuckers. Dre's wife. I met her on the POF, on the fish thing. I was pretending to be Dre. Motherfuck these people. You hear me? I did it. I gave them all I had in my life. All of them. I done gave them all too much. That's what's wrong with them. That's what's wrong with them. All of them. All of them. Who mama spent a day picking out their son promise ring? Because he don't want to go. Now you want me to go pick out your girlfriend promise ring. That sound like I'm making the fucking promise, not you. Now I'm sending pictures of rings that I could afford with my budget. For my son girlfriend. But they want to look at me like I'm doing too much. Mother, I was good when I was doing too much. When y'all needed me to do too much. Y'all had me, they all had me doing way too much. I'm on the phone cupcaking Dre's wife. Yeah, baby, you looking good today. What else you want me to say? Now, who mama was doing this? Then these bitches running around talking about I ain't no type of mama. Don't spoil your kids. Don't give them shit. Cuss them out. Dog them. Mistreat them. Do, don't do good shit to them, okay? Wait till you be a grandma and do it to your grandkids. If you got sons, cuss them motherfuckers out. Dog them. Put your nigga before them. All that. Don't do none of this shit I did, baby. None of it. Okay? When your man come over, you tell them motherfuckers, shut up, get in the closet, and act like you ain't here. Don't you tell your man these my kids this they house be respectful to them. Don't do like I did, baby. Okay? Fuck them kids. And everybody they brought with them, girl. Everybody they brought with them. them all. The stepkids too. I done been there, did did a uh, more than the stepkids mammies done did. Ain't no fucking way you about to tell me, honey. But I just, that's okay, cause I get my reward from the Lord. Cause can't nail one of them give me no reward. Can't nail one of them give me no reward, okay? <laughs> Shit, don't get me fucking started on these motherfuckers all, that's all around me. Feed, been feeding off of me since I've been born. Then they got a problem. They want to tell the counselor I wasn't there that much. I was always working. Girl, yeah, that's what Dre done told the counselor, bitch. I, she, was, she used to whoop me. And make me babysit. You mention you. She used to whoop me and make me babysit. Now then the other girl get on there and tell the counselor somebody done dug in her ass. She done been mistreated, real dogged, and I'm looking at this these motherfuckers like for real? 
Mm. Okay. Girl, you better ask somebody. I'm telling you. Shit. I put my hand on the goddamn Bible. I done gave more to all of these people around me than they could ever give me. Girl, she got me started over here talking about I'm jealous of Blue Daddy. The motherfucker that I let sleep in his bed when he was homeless. And I had company when he knocked on the fucking door. Girl, you done got me started today. You done got me started. Don't get on here talking to me about my ex-babysitter. Because, honey, that's all he was. I was running around with him and his friends. <laughs> that was not my nigga. Sorry. That was the babysitter. I did the same thing Krishan did. Get this baby, bitch. <laughs> Better ask somebody. I used them just for the same thing she did. And I told her to use them too, girl. He gonna babysit. He ain't gonna do no weird shit to your kids, girl. Because I put a camera in the house in a New York fucking minute, okay? I keep eyes on mine. <laughs> I used to set a whole phone up for a motherfucker babysitting my kids. They don't even know I'm watching they ass. With the blicky ready, because if a motherfucker do am, act like he about to do anything wrong to my kids, I was just already going to ride in there and just tell the popo that some of the gangbangers came in here and did something, okay? <laughs> I already had my story together and everything, honey. I have a shit. You could, any, you could babysit my kids because you can best believe. <laughs> I love Mrs. Sappho dearly, but when I leave my kids here, I got cameras on, eyes locked on on my kids, okay? Don't say shit to them. Don't grab them. Don't talk to them crazy. Don't do none of that shit. I'm going to walk up in here and lose it. So, girl, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just keep eyes on your kids. If you find a good babysitter, just make sure you got a backup camera for that motherfucker, okay? Jonathan Daddy was a damn good babysitter, girl. Yeah, girl, I ended up having to marry him because the Section 8 people weren't going to let him live at my house. You know how that shit go, bitch. I didn't marry for love. I, I never married for love till I met Mrs. Sappho. Everybody else was to help me with them kids, bitch. I'm going to be real. Now, if you can't accept the truth, that's between you and, and yourself. Because me and the Lord, we done already worked this out. Yeah, girl, I don't do, I don't do too good fornicating. So I just figured, you know, in front of my kids, I needed to say it was my husband. Because, you know, we up at the schoolhouse together. We over here at the functions together. And it just didn't look right if you was saying my boyfriend at, at 30 years old with three kids. You feel me? I just tried to do stuff a little bit the right way. Even though I was still fucking up, I tried, was trying to do the right thing. Then the motherfucker going to start talking about he want a kid. Now, I already got a boy and a girl, so I really didn't wasn't involved in having no more kids, okay? I, I snuck out, had an abortion, got pregnant again. That's what happened. That's how Jonathan got here. I did not want no more kids. I already had a girl and a boy, and that was too much already enough. Yeah, girl, I be on me trying. I them, 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 I don't bust good under fornication. I don't know how y'all come good when you fornicate. I be feeling guilty halfway through it. Like I just, I can't bust a good unless it's my husband. I don't want to be asking for forgiveness every time I, come, you know what I'm saying. I want to and lay there in my shit and go to sleep and wake up, bitch. I don't want to be begging the Lord. I'm sorry, I'm sorry again. Oh, I'm sorry again. That just wasn't my stilo. You know, Jonathan Daddy, he was stacked, so it made sense. He had a little something going on, and I could make, you know, I was out there making that money, so it didn't really make no never mind that he was a, a broke joke. <laughs> it ain't never make no never mind that he was a broke joke. But anyway, it worked out. The kids is here, and they all, you know, they, they might be in jail, but they know better, and they're going to do better. One day they're going to do better. Y'all just keep praying for them and keep talking shit about them, honey. Girl, Blue Daddy ain't never been in a fight in his life. Some ran up on us and I had to handle that. I had to pull up, go in my purse, get out the blicky and, and air the shit out. Because they was about to rob him and ass for his shoes. He, his mom used to buy like the Jordans as soon as they came out. She still do. Where the lady at that's dating him right now? I bet you she'll tell you. He got the new Jordans every 
and holiday birthday. That was just his, him and his mom's thing because she ran off and left him when he was 15. So she just started buying him shoes. I guess she said, keep walking in these shoes. Just don't come walking over here by me. But anyway, he, she kept buying him them expensive shoes to make him look like he had some money. Because when I met him, you know what I'm saying? He all had all the fresh J's on. So I'm thinking this nigga has some money because he's spending two, three hundred on a shoe back in the day. No, girl, that was his mama buying them shoes, honey. She was buying shoes so that motherfucker could keep walking. Okay? <laughs> Just don't walk over here by me. Don't try to down talk your baby dad. I ain't down talking him. Girl, you one thing about the world and life and history is if the shit's the truth, baby, it could be up or down. That's what it's going to be, the truth. Is Callie named after Papa Blue? No, I just wanted her and Jonathan to have the same names. <laughs> Jonathan and Janice. My, me and my sister is Carlissa and Carletta. Carlissa and Carletta. So, you know, my mindset was like, get them two together. It ain't have shit to do with Jonathan Daddy. Jonathan Daddy know I don't like him. Ask his friend Mark. I was f***ing his friend Mark the whole time. If you like your man, you do not f*** his friend. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Tell him the rules. Tell him the rules. Me? Dre is four, almost five years older than them. So Andre, Andre is a separate stack of kids. Blue and Callie like two and a half, three years apart. I had Dre when I was 17 years old. I didn't put much thought into effort into the name at all. <laughs> she said this is very entertaining. The girl, sometimes the truth, she said, if you downplaying somebody, I'm telling the truth. Now, I done already told y'all my business, okay? Y'all know all my business, all the way up to my hemorrhoids. I ain't never gonna tell you no lie, and I ain't gonna sugarcoat no truth. The motherfucker was broke, he was broke, okay? He couldn't keep a job at the grocery store, okay? <laughs> His nigga couldn't keep a job at the grocery store. One minute, 37 seconds later corner didn't tell me he had no baby none of that girl i'm just dating a man don't even know girl finest every bit of six foot four 200 aries ignorant cocky, scary you could just go anywhere you want with him because he ain't scared of nothing okay girl honey i met miss i met uh johnny's daddy Baby, <laughs> I was trying to get pregnant on the first fucking day. I said, worst case scenario, I will get a Shaquille O'Neal out the deal. I was going to name, I, the name was Shaquille. The baby's name was Shaquille, okay? <laughs> then they came in there talking about it's a girl we messed up. I said, oh, no, y'all done fuck me over. It's a girl. You mean I'm going to have a rough ass daughter? <laughs> I'm going to have a gangster bitch. <laughs> Girl, I'm talking about just think of a thug with a job, baby. Go anywhere in L.A. Like, what up? Ain't scared of nothing, okay? Legal everything. Everything legal. Tags, legal insurance, dental lights, mama running shit. His mama was, his mama was okay. His mama still, his mama still got a $1.5 million house over in Ladera Heights over there with Magic Johnson and them, okay? So I'm talking about the whole full package. I'm like, oh, goodness gracious, girl. Six months later, a woman pops up with a baby. Time I he ain't tell you I had a baby with him. <laughs> oh. Girl, yeah, the first baby mama just ruined the whole appetite, honey. I'm not I'm not never going to bat with no bitch with no baby that's been there. I'm just not gonna do it. And I just was so broken hearted and so crushed. So while I was when I was planning my exit route y'all i'm planning my exit route i'm leaving i'm like oh yeah y'all go ahead be good you know i'm fly as 
at the time. Only got one kid, so I'm making moves. It's LA, I just got here. Okay, no problem. I'm pretty sure there's a dozen of those. Girl, soon as I moved all my shit out. <laughs> miss my period. Now I done miss my period. I'm telling y'all my whole book. I done missed the period, y'all. So you know I'm over there on eggshells like, okay, well, at least it's going to be a beautiful, strong, healthy baby. You know, I love kids. And I didn't know I could get pregnant again, so I was excited. Girl, while I'm pregnant, this bitch takes that man to the altar and marries him. Sinead! Okay, girl, I said. Girl, she took that mother. As soon as she seen me, I that ass real quick I, do boop, boop, boop. I, I was fighting for my love baby honey soon as I whooped that behind honey I looked around and they was at the altar okay she said uh uh no ma'am <laughs> girl that 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 there that one crushed me that one crushed me so you know me, I'm being evil and ignorant because like you gonna do this while I'm pregnant. So I used to just call them over my house and bang that thing out. And you know how you you know you know how we do, girl. I call that girl on the phone, honey. Let her listen from A to B. Hello? Hold on. He in the background. Oh yeah, bitch. I love you. <laughs> oh, you the best. <laughs> I'm laughing, the lady on the phone. Bro, she does a drive-by on my house. Talking about, no, I ain't laughing now because the lady, me and the lady cool now. So if you on here, lady, I'm sorry. I'm just telling my story. Now, I, I respect everything, and we went through a lot of things. And I, my, and her kids and Callie is cool. They, 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 they sister sisters. So if the stepsisters is on here, I'm sorry. This is when I was young, y'all. I, I ain't trying to hurt y'all mama feelings now. I know she's somewhere happily married, just got married for her fourth time. And we doing well out here doing what we got to do, and he ain't nowhere in the picture. Okay, so back to the story. Boom. Girl. Yeah, so everybody has their evil days. I get it. The lady done did a drive-by talking about, you guys belong together. I'm like, shit, we stuck together right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> he all up in the gut. <laughs> we belong. <laughs> Girl, I should have did that shit. She moved that mother... Now, Africa, they moved out to Bakersfield somewhere far, far away, girl, and got married. I, <laughs> she made sure it took him three hours to get to that ass, okay? <laughs> she said, girl, she plotted that shit out, and then it still didn't work, honey. So, I get it. I really do get it. That's why I be trying to tell y'all, don't be messing with these men that be dipping back with their baby mamas. Because if I was a real, like, if I wasn't a child of God and I really didn't have no feelings, I would be, I would have did, I could have did her so dirty. I could have did her so dirty. Every time he came to come visit my daughter, he used to just be like, you ain't got no on. <laughs> so... I could have did her real dirty, but I said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. So I started getting serious with Jonathan Daddy. Because I ain't had shit else better to do. And now I'm locked in the house with two kids. Then he started talking about he want one of his own on the second year. I'm like, I thought you said you didn't want no kids. Girl, he started talking about that fourth baby, honey. I, he didn't even know I already had my tubes tied. I was like, ooh, I, um, I'm, I didn't miss my period. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't going to never miss my period again. <laughs> Girl, he found out through the grapevine that I tied them tubes, honey, and he ran to that divorce court. <laughs> Girl, that mother ran to that divorce court as soon as he found out i think his sister might have told him girl her tubes is tied <laughs> you know and in california they have the nerve to tell you that your husband got to sign the paper for you to get your tubes tied girl i had the bitch next to me that just had her baby sign that paper for me <laughs> 
She signed that paper. I said, yeah, he came and he signed it and he left. He said, it's okay for me to get these tubes tied. <laughs> Where that lady at that was in the bed next to me, girl? She signed that paper for me. <laughs> that motherfucker found out that these tubes wasn't tied, baby. I'm telling you, he was so mad. <laughs> that was the only day he was black. That was the only day I knew he was a black man. <laughs> when he found out my tubes was tied. <laughs> God forgive me. God forgive me. But I already repented for this. I already repented for this. This is my story. I'm telling it. Okay? I tied my tubes after the third baby. And I didn't tell my husband because I didn't want no more goddamn kids. Because I just knew I wasn't going to stay with him. And it, it was sooner than later because he found out that I tied my tubes, so he went and got a divorce. <laughs> I didn't fight it. I didn't argue. I didn't even show up to court. Won't he do it? <laughs> I ain't even show up to the motherfucker to contest nothing, okay? What was I going to ask for, them fucking Jordans? Um, your, your honor, um, I would like to contest the divorce because he owes me half of those Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, girl, I'm telling you, life was not easy. It was not easy. <laughs> Did you put him on child support? No, I didn't put Jonathan and daddy on child support until Jonathan was in 11th grade. And you know why, right? Because money hungry, Jonathan Porter, little Jonathan Porter, he has stood him up a couple times and I said, well, you can put him on child support. <laughs> Didn't have to ask him twice. <laughs> no, ma'am. I never put him on child support till my son was in 11th grade. Come prom, graduation, he finna go to college. You ain't finna help do shit. I know you's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> and then we, they garnish his taxes. So he only had one year worth of child support, y'all. So it came to like four, four or $5,000. They put it on them little EBT cards from the child support office. I gave a whole card to Jonathan with all the money on there. Now, his daddy arguing with me. You got you got all my money. You know, your son got your money. I don't need your money. This is good right here. Okay, this is top of the cream of the crop. You should have remembered that. So, girl, yeah, his son took his EBT child support card with all his taxes that the one year that the nigga had to pay and went to college with that money. Okay. Can I get an amen? <coughs> Blue said, yes, he needs to uh, run me my money because it's prom and I got to get Jaden the prom ticket and I got to get my tuxedo. And girl, mama is in school. I, when Jonathan graduated high school, I was in school too. Me and Jonathan graduated together. I graduated with my associate's degree and Jonathan graduated with his high school diploma at the same year. We were struggling that year. I was Ubering and everything, girl. I'm a professional Uber. I was Ubering for almost 30 years. Girl, by every time I got in a jam, honey, I could have went and got on a pole or laid on my back. I just jump in my whip and tell my jokes in the car, and them motherfuckers would give me good tips, and that's what it was. So I didn't have to get on that pole. Thank God for Uber. But that's what happened, girl. I Ubered through college and graduation, and at the end of the time, it got rough, and Jonathan put his own daddy on child support. I even let him fill the paperwork out. <laughs> Go get your daddy. <laughs> Go get that money. <laughs> we ain't really need his daddy money, because Johnny's daddy child support was almost $2,000 a month. <laughs> With shit, we all graduated off Johnny's daddy. <laughs> Shout out to Lee Miller. <laughs> child, Jonathan, dad, uh, Johnny's daddy got done paying his child support. Me and Johnny, me and Jonathan was on our own to fend for ourselves. Girl, when Johnny's turned 18 and that child support ended, we about died. <laughs> Girl, that check didn't come on her. The month after she turned 18, I said, damn, this motherfucker could have gave us a warning. He done went down there and turned the shit off on her, on her birthday, the day after the graduation. I didn't know this motherfucker didn't. I was, the whole time, we like, we're going to get that one more check. We're going to get that, that motherfucker.
and cut that shit off like the light company. You hear me? We was in the dark without Johnny's daddy. <laughs> Woo, child. Get you one that one baby daddy that'll pay for them all. That one motherfucker pay for them all, honey. Oh, so yeah, so that's how that ended up happening with the child support, Miss Ma'am, who asked if I put them on child support. Yes, I did in 11th grade. We only got one year's worth of help. <laughs> Girl, you cracking up because you know y'all, you know how your auntie, you know somebody done, done been through this. Girl, I raised them motherfucking kids. You hear me? I did that. I did that shit. You know, and it bothered me for a long time that I lost Dre. You know, when Mama Bear is running along and one of them fall off, that, that damn near took me out. 16, going on 17. That's a whole nother story. But that damn near took me out. That damn near took John out too. I ain't gonna lie. That almost took John out. It scared John straight, honey. John start bringing home all A's and B's after Andre went to jail. He said, that. <laughs> girl, Jonathan was listening and everything, girl. He wasn't still in my car. Andre went to jail. Jonathan said, let me straighten up and fly right. <laughs> girl, Jonathan was in third grade. About fourth or fifth grade when the trial ended and he realized Andre wasn't coming home, girl. After that, I didn't have no more problems out of, out of Jonathan. Girl, I didn't have no more problems out of Jonathan after about fourth, fifth grade, honey. Mm-mm. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.